Welcome back to L.A. Noir. On our previous episode, rising detective Cole Phelps and sidekick Carl were tasked with tracking down a stolen vehicle. Your spoiler warning this week is delivered to you by Quick Condos. Have your dream home built to last in just 45 minutes. Get yours today. Also, check out last week's episode in the description. Oh, and by the way, that was episode 5 last time, not 4. Oh, bad. We blame Phil for that one, and, and he's gone now. Good luck finding another job, Phil. Anyway, the driver of this vehicle was a Cliff Harrison, who claims to have purchased the vehicle legally from an annoying as hell car salesman by the name of Richard Coombs, with, a, with an M. After a short conversation and talking Carl out of shooting Mr. Coombs as a favor to the world, the disgruntled duo's investigation leads to the discovery that a string of thefts have been committed in the past few months that turned out to be connected to organized crime with one corrupt official and one mob boss behind bars and the whole operation sleeping with the fishes we find out now what happens this week on a double length special of LA Noir The Fallen Idol Sponsored by Big Willie's Growth Pills. Grow eight inches taller in just three weeks. Ain't that the truth? Side effects may include hair loss, deafness, loss of vision, loss of taste, loss of smell, schizophrenia, and death. Buy yours today. Okay, man, just let that off the handbrake and, and chuck off a cliff. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad <laughs> says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? Wait, did you not see it on Chevy the way in, Skyline guys? Chevy took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right. Okay. Well, let's go. Move on, Carl. You never saw. Him. Carl, seriously, get up. We need to go. See you later, fellers. Try not to work too hard. They never do, Cole. They never do. Can I talk to the boss? Can I just? I'm just hey, boss. To fit in. Ah. Educated, oh. hardworking, straight as narrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in this All right, cheers, Carl. Thanks for that. Right, okay, do we take, do we take the car across the street? I mean, it's literally like over there. This is America, after all. Cars is what they do here. Again, Carl, we ain't walking. Can I, can I go? Hey, get away, people! Get away! Get away! Hey, police work. Police coming through. Guys, seriously, do you not, do you not see this? I am slowing down. Get out of the way! Police business, everyone. Hey! Get out of the way! No! Carl! Push it! Alright. Go! Alright. We can make it! We can make it! We can No! No, not now! We're almost there! Alright, hold on! Carl, you got you gotta shunt your weight forward, Carl! Ugh, seriously, Carl, could, could, could you get out, please? Just get out! Seriously, I ain't walking it! I don't care if we're already here. Yeah, there we go! No. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Carl, like, took off there, man. Jesus. All right, boys. What do you got for me? Make sure you hit that like button right now. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. For stories that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, Stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. Stall the One ambulance. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. All right, come on, Carl. When you go down. You'll want to see this, Phelps. All right, mate. Laid out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Well, this guy's excited, man. The coroner's got a hard on. That's not good. Oh, I see why now. Is this what you're into, then, coroner? Ripped pants. Been torn off. Where did you find them? We stuffed in the young lady's handbag. 
I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. I will maybe stop touching it there, Cole. Eh? He's not even done the trace yet. All right, but it's in here then. Dear Jesse, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very proud. But you're still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear. And you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. Okay, this is probably not the, the voice of the person that wrote this. Maybe it is, maybe it is. Maybe they smoke six day a day, you know, it could have, like, that could be the case. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would have never been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day too. I'm sure Aunt Junie is looking after you, but I can't help worry. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as the button just like you were at her age they need their big sister to look out for them dear dear jesse please come back i'm frightened for you i can help feeling something terrible is gonna happen i cry for you every night your loving mother camille hamilton <clears throat> A sore throat after doing that. <laughs> right then, so the ma wants her to come home. Old, uh, old Jesse, or young Jesse, I guess. Right, here's a license plate. Cool. I mean, we already have like the driver and stuff, or whatever. So let's see what else what we got. That is a uh, head Looks smack. Like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Yeah, you need to relax when you smash your head into a dashboard. That's what people need to do more often. Eh? All right, what you got to say then, son? I'm stumped. Ideas? Eh? This is a big scene, Phelps. Well, right. I oh, was it. Let's go see the coroner. Oh, he's right. He's right here, what, uh, Carl. What the fuck? Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Phelps, what was that? Do you want slot? <laughs> I don't think anyone was impressed by that. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Get, let me get, let me get a look at that. What's yeah. it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Hmm, maybe it was this guy. Another Case day, closed, Carl. We got him. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Yeah, well, that was the next part of the uh, process there, Carl. You get in to say, Paul, eh? No, nothing at all. That's right, you better stand still, son. Right, let's go up and talk to the witness. Wait, 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 the music was still going. Yes, hold on, I'm learning. <laughs> People have commented the last couple of episodes that when the music's going, there's more clues. So I have missed something, apparently. Although there's not really much actual room around here. I'm not really sure where something could be hiding. Maybe in the bushes? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, watch yourself there, cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just these again. So anything else and this. No, it's just this fucking letter. I don't need that. Put that, put that shit away. Now look at it from this side. Did I not do that before? I mean, yes. Blood, but closer. Oh wow, 20 cents per hour. I better get down there. I'm missing something, but I don't know what. Back seat. And then the back seat. No, no, don't, don't touch the pants, Cole. We don't need to touch the pants. We need to find, we need to find whatever it is that it's wanting me to find. Is it these branches? Bushes? I'm just gonna spam the... A button. This is the thing. People are like, oh, you gotta investigate until the, until the music stops. It's like, well, yeah, but there's nothing actually here. <laughs> I'm gonna go up the top 
and go to the crime scene around there and see if the music comes back on again, because it could just mean the entire crime scene, like the mute, like there's something to find. There isn't anything down there. There's about 10 square feet of space to actually search. Whoa, Jesus Christ, Cole. Is it gonna come back on? No. God damn it. Just gonna stare at some pussies. You might, you might have a wee seat in the bench, Carl. Ah, that one looks very jittery from this kind of distance, look. <laughs> it's things like that where this game shows its age a little bit. Like, it's ahead of its time for 2011, <laughs> but it is still 11 years old yeah. now. It would be so good if they actually made a sequel to this. Like, with the technology that they've got now, I think they would be able to make an amazing game if they tried to do this again. And people would be into it. This has been like a like a cult hit. It wasn't a huge seller back in the day, but since then, it's it's sold a lot. Let me know in the comments, would you use, like, a, a sequel to this game? What if we, instead of, like, 40s LA, what if we got, like, a 50s New New York or something, you know, like something cool like that. I think they would be able to do a cool job. I know, I know the studio that made this game got shut down not long after because Rockstar can be dicks like that. But you know, they must, they still own the IP, so they could get another studio to work on it if they wanted, right? Okay, seriously though, what is it? <laughs> it's what made me think. Miss McAfee, we need to ask you some shit. I prefer to use my maiden name. June Ballard, you might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened to your hen, eh? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? beasts. Of I don't like. No. Shut down. <laughs> Shut down. <laughs> Carl is devastated. Oh, she's a B-movie actress. Let me get a good look at her. Is she nervous? Oh, you got some scratches all up your forehead, hen. We understand you're still suffering for that wee crash, hen, but the officer claims that you were drugged. Who drugged you, eh? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. Mickey Finn? I wonder I feel so dopey. Yeah, getting doped would do that. I can't remember. Pish! That's a Harry Potter scar, by the way. Look at that. Right on her forehead. You know, it's a crime to light in a Polis head, eh? I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an whoa, old Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, head. Your breath is And my... don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Huh? Mark Bishop. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, she looks worried, she looks worried now. She's looking out for Voldemort coming out of the trees. What can you tell us about a passenger in your motorhead? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Well, probably more. You've you've said absolutely nothing so far, Hen. Look away ye go and don't talk a load of shit, you old cow. You're no telling me the full story. Something happened before the crash. You're no spilling the beans. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Sunshine, don't you ever talk down to me like that again, you fucking cow. We go with the pants, right? Hmm. Yeah, we go with the pants. We found our drawers, hen. Torn to pieces. What the fuck happened, eh? She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Ah, uh, does it sound like the kind of casting she was expecting, hen? What's with a weird shrunken heat? It was stuck to the flare. What's that all about? You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Miss McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting my time. I end up losing boots up assholes with folk that waste my time, you know what I mean? You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. I mean, surely the, the shrunken head itself can't be proof of the shrunken head. Well, it is, but like, we just, we already established that there is indeed a shrunken head. She's like staring off into space. Surely you, you should interview someone who's been in a car crash after they've already been checked yeah. by. Do you get paid by the hour staff? for doing nothing? Shut up! I'm gonna, I'm gonna say doubt. I think I'm gonna say doubt. Doubt. It's obviously a movie prop, you old cow. You must know where that came from, eh? In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. 
And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, Mind but you know what it came from, don't you? Which prop house he uses. All right, we got it, we got it. Right, well, who is this Mark Bishop prick then? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. But we are the police. Yeah, daft cow. You can't he just be like, no, listen, Polis, you just you just back up, right? We'll handle this like some sort of vigilante mob or something. You're only in the movies, hen. You don't get to do that stuff in real life, you know. She looks zen. It's not going to play that way. Oh, we fucked we'll up. We'll take it from there. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home outfit. after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's why nice are you, you why are you questioning her when she's still under the here. influence of narcotics, she as you it. pointed out, Cole? Maybe they, she should go to a doctor, and then afterwards you should probably ask her some questions. <laughs> Fucking what? Hold on, mate. You you get any you get any stuff? You get any morphine, mate? You know what I mean? You could get you could get some of that. Get some of that morphine. That I'm saying. Ah, we'll we'll talk about this later, right? Can we steal the coroner mobile? We can. Right, come on, car. KGPL, the car 11K, 11K. The car crash victim has regained consciousness in Central Receiving Hospital. Uh. Alright, let's go, okay, Roger. And <laughs> but he doesn't have a body. Anyway! Right, next. When we go to the next place, I'm gonna take uh, a wee sleep in the back. Carl, you're gonna have to do the driving. Oh, wait, oh, we need to go back down these stairs. I forgot. That was the route that I took. Right, anyway, everybody, or else you'll be getting put in the back. You don't want that. Oh, this guy sees life flashing before his eyes. Oh! Hey. Okay, here we go. Oh shit! Oh, oh, that guy fell over. That guy as well. <laughs> guy pushed someone over over there. I was weird. Central Receiving Hospital. Right, come on, Carl. We need to get stuck Hello. in. Detective Phelps here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Oof. This one's going to be trouble, Carl. Better, better get suited up for this. Did you bring the, the fireproof suit? Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, Detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory... Swap seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Is that here then? Alright. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Hmm. Hold on, let's 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 have a look at the chart. See what it says. Head trauma and soft tissue damage sustained in car accident. Residual traces of chloral hydrate in bloodstream, external bruising to genitals, and other evidence of criminal abuse. That's pretty, pretty fucked up. She is 15 years old. This is an Adam Johnson situation. You're making me uncomfortable. Just standing around. I'm looking at your chart. Shut the anything? fuck up. Probably shouldn't say that to a sexual assault victim. Traces of coral hydrate recently administered. Do not administer further sedatives without express permission. Patient to be held for bed rest and observation. Right, no sedatives, Carl. Nothing close you two, okay? Don't want another San Bernardino incident, you know what I'm saying? Right, well, what is this chewing gum? Was that, that, was that the morphine I was looking for? Oh wait, actually, let's see. Uh, this is alcohol. Get it, get it in the pockets. Get it in the pockets. What else we got? Oh, Mystic Tales. Good shit. Get an eyeball, man. That shit's serious. Right, Hen, you gotta, you, you gotta tell us some shit. Alright, we'll, we'll go easy on this one, Carl. She's, uh, she's been through some shit. Alright. Alright, Hen, my name's Cole. This here's Carl. We got some questions, right? Um, okay. Hey, what do you remember about the crash, Hen? It's all kind of fuzzy. 
I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Nothing happened yesterday. I'm sorry, Hen, but we fun, we fun the pants. I'm, I, 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 you know. Tell the truth, you wee bent. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. It's got to be the under. I know we already used it, but like it's still there. Wait, hold on. Evidence of abuse. Maybe we should just say that, right? We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. Okay, you included the underwear you thing too. What happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not. Kind of sounds time. like Junie's fault. I had a boyfriend back home, but. My father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to talk to your mom and dad, Jessica. Tell them what happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Absolute pish, hen. Stop it. Letter for your ma. Because you're a runaway, hen. And you don't have your parents' permission, all right? What happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. That is fucked up. How did you meet Mr. Bishop exactly? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. She's a movie star and she's doing a movie? What, what, what the fuck am I meant to say to that? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. It probably happened on the film set. He literally had a prop from the film. I'm gonna use the intuition. I'm just gonna do it. Doubt. Doubting that motherfucker, right? Somebody tried to murder you, you daft cow! God, he tell us what's happening, for fuck's sake! I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? What? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Oh, yeah, bastard. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? That's no happening, Hen. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Oh, okay, well, we're running right away. There she goes. Come on. Right, let's go. Oh, wait, are we not driving the coroner's car? The coroner must have drove her car back rounds. <laughs> Out of the way, police business! Ballard is definitely up to something. No, really? We we'll give you that idea there, Carl. Nice sense. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Easy, call. Better back it off. I am backed off. We're, we're, well, we're, well, okay, we're good. Just gonna park it right in the middle of the street. Fuck your that traffic. That would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. You're gonna forget how you speak in a minute if you shut the fuck up, Carl. You'll also forget how you chew, because you'll be fucking picking up teeth out of the fucking carpet for the next month. Know what I'm saying? Health is wealth. Okay. Get in there and see what she's up to. Will do. What are you gonna do, hang out in the car and smoke? Lazy bastard. Right. Run. Hey, what's up, bitch? Oh, fuck, I'm not supposed to do that. Get in there and see what she's up to. But you said get in there. Take cover at the door. I should have probably... Oh, shit, she's looking. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't suspicious. This guy... Oh, he's coming out. Enter the cafe without being seen. Paint a booth with the newspaper. That's it. No, get in the... Get in the booth. Get... Yep. Yep. Incognito. This is... No! I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm, 
Captain, please what? You get this done, or I'm... She calling him the Hitch. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Oh, they're gonna whack him. Sure, I got the film. Oh, do we... Do, do we stay incognito, or do we... Do we arrest that bitch? Is that me? Thought they crashed the car there. All right, Carl. After me doing all the work, once again, we have an address. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, Let's shit. roll. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried to bump enough guy in the camp his wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. The captain will break a fella's legs just for looking at him. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, Whoops. why would they try to kill her? KGB Delta any unit to 459, they're now at 267 South Main. Well, can I know how to there's a bloody head squad on his way. All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803. Oh, it's already happening. Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K, go 3. All other units, go 2. KGPL clear. Oh, shit. Done it. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. What do you hurt. think I'm doing? Hey, you said call no cars, guy. That guy's just ignoring the call car. Did you guys... His number! Okay, here we are. This is gonna get intense. Patience. Ah, cannot play it. Man, we are real hauling off here, aren't we? Yeah! You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's... It's room 803, left out of the elevator. Left out of the elevator, okay. Take your time a bit over there, cool. Alright, come on! I hurry up, Carl! Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Maybe we should get the guns out, Carl. Look, lady, I can probably do what you told your husband. We'll put it together. Hey! Give it up! LAPD! What the fuck are you, huh? Oh! Oh! Oh, you bastard, they just caught me. Seriously, uh, hell! Okay, I just got absolutely gone in. Hey! 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 Uh. Okay. Yeah. We got it, we got it now, we got it now, we got it now. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep hitting them, just keep hitting them. Just keep smashing them. Yeah. Oh, keep swinging. Hey, you. Hey, that's my partner. Only I get to punch him in the head, okay? Yeah, get the fuck out of here, piece of shit. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm alright now. What is up with your head? Horrible, awful men. I saw a big cheese block. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's that's like Will Smith. I'm very Fresh sorry. Prince here. I'll just sit down for a moment. <laughs> what is Perfectly that? Perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, yes. we will Thank just search you. through your house. Teacup in the kitchen. A wooden spoon. Murder weapon Probably. has been found, Carl. Got to search that fridge. That's where all the cold hard evidence is found. <laughs> Gay cowboys to Mark exactly Bishop. To Mark. Wait, is, is, it's not going to turn out that Mark Bishop's actually gay and didn't do any of the bad stuff to the wee lassie. It, it's not that the bloody woman was into it, was it? What are they looking for? It seems like the books are everywhere. Doesn't look like anything. Well, I mean, it does look like something. This doesn't look like it exists! Oh, that looks important. What do you have to do to earn $20,000? He's got Sherlock Holmes here, who's clearly an inferior detective to Cole Phelps. Oh, yes! Finders this keepers! Oh, no, you didn't, you didn't see that there, Carl, did you? What's this a picture of? Looks like the old movie set downtown. Okay. Is that meant to be Cleopatra? It is, isn't it? Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. By D.W. Griffith? 
Is that not a guy that done the train robbery one or something? Or was... DW... He's a proper... He's a real guy, right? Intolerance. <laughs> okay. The Great Wall of Babylon. They didn't have a Great Wall. They had the Hanging Gardens. DW Griffith, though. Uh, he's, he's either the guy that done Nosferatu, or he was a guy that done that fucking KKK movie. I forget what it's called. Eddie Wason. Nope. He looks like he's just standing there like, Moon then, what you want to do, you, you fucking dick? Oh, there's a picture. That's a, that's that's something I need to... Yeah, that'll, that'll be a thing. All right, there he is, the fat it's bastard. The mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Oh, she's Who got a dead a picture. My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood, they work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. I will chill him. That's... That seems like, uh... Thing I needed to know. Is this his hat by the Oh, this is my hat. Oh, yeah, shit. His hat's also missing, so I'm guessing that they just got it knocked off in the fight. Gay cowboys. Is that just what they call it? <laughs> I mean, it's so obviously brought back mountain, but like, it's just so blunt. It's just gay cowboys, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? Got this guy's epic beard. Everything that you can pick up is just absolute. Crap. None of it is relevant at all. So we're talking to her now. Right, and we have one question. That's brilliant, after all of that. Those men! I think they work for a wee guy called McAfee. Do you know who that is? No. Why should I? June Ballard's married to the guy. You heard the her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee says that your husband tried to kill her last night. And a wee lassie. So I seriously suggest you start flapping the gums hen. Alright? My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Right, where is this prick? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Right, either we find him or the gangsters find him and they chop him into wee bits. Do you even care about this prick? I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? There's a... There's a check in the room. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. So it was you just that. You need to ask cool. Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Cool. Cool. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a wee lassie. Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know what happened there, don't you? You've been through this before. I'm gonna call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. I'm not sure that that proves that she knows. There'll be literally like one tiny little bit of evidence that's like crammed in a fucking air duct at the back of the building or something. And that'll be the evidence that I missed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say don't doubt. Ask, I don't think I've out. got. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? Well, I am the police. The truth is, my husband likes them young. Okay, he needs locked up. Get him locked up, boys. Okay? Get him locked up now. I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. You say that, but he's Hollywood. gone after little girls. Is he a big boy, or is he, in fact, a wee prick who needs stomped on? Right, using the fucking phone. Opera, I've got, a, I've got a message for you. Putting you through now. Right, we got nonsense on the list, boys. Nonsense on the list. Right, cheers, hen. Right, Carl, we gotta, we gotta go. Mate, remember to get your hat, or maybe just. 
Take the, the gay cowboy hat. Go on, take it. He's thinking about it. He doesn't know which one to go for. Well, I'll be outside. I know it's a difficult decision to make. It's still making the investigation music and I'm... No, fuck you, game. I'm not doing it. Okay? I literally walked around every square inch of every room in the whole fucking building and nothing was there. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife are finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. <laughs> Good observation! There's probably a real vital bit of evidence that I missed, but honestly, like, fuck that shit. I just want to go. <laughs> right, come on, Carl. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. What's the deal with the... with the hidden cars? Oh, I can get in here? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Hey, come on. We're just stealing this, I guess. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's got a bit of talk. A bit of speed. Just what we need. Whoa. What is this one? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a terrible time for a camera to cut. Jesus. Did that all right without a major incident. Oh, oh, oh. See, the music's okay. Putting a downer on the entire journey. Okay, go for it, go for it, quick, quick. Oh, oh, what a great angle, thanks for that one, yeah. Hey, whoa, 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 almost killed a guy. And, uh, Jesus, Cole! That a little bit. Hey, shut up, Carl. You can walk if you, if you don't like it. It was at this moment that Carl shit himself. The car smelled terrible from this point forward. Hey, whoa! Okay, Take sorry, it yeah. easy. And we're here. <laughs> Right. Oh, I saw. I saw Bayoff right there. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. This guy gives me facilitation vibes. He's the one that's fucking giving the man the space to be a creepy bastard. Alright, watch out, Carl. Guy might get up to some shit. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> yeah, you better listen to the man, guy, or you might get battered. Oh, we got some Zulu shields and shit. But we got the shrunken heads, so boom. Sorted, that's one thing. Clearly this is relevant. Why is it not? It's not doing anything at all. It's one of the heads. They used one of the heads to fucking try and murder them. And now we find the heads. Oh. Do we... Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Even though I can actually Why see... Why would I want to do that? That. Humor him. Aye. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Dirty. Way into that peep dirty dirty bastard. I'll stay here and keep our pervert. We got this is this is what we're Don't yeah, be a that is. kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Okay. You know, putting bloody cameras behind the mirrors as well, are they? Dirty bastards. They are too, aren't they? That I can see the outline of some shit. It could just be the graphics. It could just be the graphics, but I can see stuff through my own reflection, which doesn't make sense. Okay, hold, hold on. All right, what, what? Hold on a second. How do I get in there? Is it back out and around? Music. Oh, oh shit! Hey, none of them stops. Sure, what I'm looking at. Exactly. Oh, oh, it's just a picture of a wall. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that's what I was looking at. Oh, 
secret camera room. This will be where all the absolute dodgiest fuck shit is. Jungle drums. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. I could use a thing like this. Yeah, next time we get in a bar fight, I'm just gonna pull out a fucking Alibaba sob. Start going to town. Oh. Wow, well, okay. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. They have a- they actually do have a window into the toilet! That's fucked up! I knew it when I looked at that mirror that it looked dodgy. No wonder that guy was nervous when we fucking rocked up, man. Oh shit, hope they don't find the, uh, the uh, operation <laughs> from the back. Ah, this is where they're making the heads, is it? Right. I'm just wondering if any of these it's gonna be like, oh, this one clearly proves it or something. Okay. So this is where you sprang from. Cool. I'm not sure what this teaches me that I didn't already know. Wait, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing to see back here. <laughs> just like blocked everything. Dope flood streets. Cops chase war surplus contraband. Do we see what this is? Ah, I guess we see what this is. Mocambo. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler? Interesting combination, huh? Should probably not say it as loud as that, mate. Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Oh, he's a big gangster Selling guy. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying, uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, he's oh, yeah. in bits, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. You should probably just take the money, hey. guy. Take. Hey, you don't like my offer? That's bad. That's bad news. Sheldon kid? Whacked. I think I want him dead. No, I just, just, I think, I think I want him. Coco Pops, mate. Did you just have a phone in the restaurant by his table, by the way? <laughs> but hey, Cohen, that's a real guy, right? Does he not come up later? Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. I may have not said before, by the way, guys, but I played this game about 10 years ago. It's been a long, long time. R roughly around the same time I played Mafia 2, I played this. So like, you know, I played through the whole of Mafia 2, remember, and I I didn't remember like what happened at all. But this game, I only remember tiny bits and pieces. I do remember that we are going to be going to a movie set very soon, so that should be fun. But the Cohen guy, he's like a gangster. I, is he real or not? He might just be from this game. I, I can't remember. Right, hold on, is there anything else around here? It's, oh, okay, maybe not. Hold on, I want to see these, these fucking horses. Yeah, believable as fuck, you know? I, I see those things in the film, you're like, oh man, that, that's... That's, that's one prime horse right there. <laughs> Spent a lot of this, this uh, session here just searching around the crime scenes. I get that that is a big part of this game, but you know. Okay, the other cowboy hat. Circumstance. Is, oh, okay, never mind. Where's this, just a sword? What the fuck? You, just lying around. It could be a lot of help. You could use it in the uh, interrogation we're about to do. The missing film reel. I feel like that's kind of the thing that we are maybe looking for here. I don't see anything else in there. Again, there's always 
There's always one clue that I don't find. Did you ever do any work for Mark Bishop, mate? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop was doing work for a studio. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Pesh. Absolute pesh, mate. I know you're lying, Hopgood. We found Bishop him. was here and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant and now you start throwing your weight around? I'll start throwing your weight around in a minute, you prick. This just proves that he works with him, but he did say that. See, is it the the head moulds or the empty film canister? You could hump a few props Let's go ahead the floors if you got nothing better to do. I have a drugged up 15 year old girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopkins. Oh shit, he's really- he here with you and Ballard and the girl. He's really bad. A lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm uh, not responsible for what goes on here. Well, you own the place, guy. You own the place. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. He does look pretty zen about it. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Okay, okay. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. Right, I'm going with a head mold. Going with a head mold. I'm about done with you and your Fuck. accusations. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Delivers his Oh. What's Royal happening here? Advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. Is it been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Well, why doesn't he tell the bloody mouth. truth then if he's Have an informer? Been upsetting these two officers, Marlin. So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get at it. I'm very impressed once I punch fuck at you. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. I could beat you. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is gonna get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Why would that tell you? He can be a very generous man. I'm only gonna warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kinda dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite <laughs> than a so let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. Holy shit. And we don't waste our time on small You just get bold? You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Oh, he's been listening and taking tips for me. <laughs> now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> that is the face of someone who is scunnelled. <laughs> Gutty pow. Oh, whoa, 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 you can't just do that, what the fuck? Whoa! Are we running from them now? What's happening here? They really don't want anybody getting the fishing before they do. Right. I can't take right. the shot from here, Cole. No, 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 we can, we can. Oh. 
This was a terrible idea, lads. You don't know my record here. I've been popping fucking melons all around the city. Where are they? Oh, there he is. Hey, hey guy, that's a, that's a very bad spot. <laughs> all right then. Yeah. Well. Well, he looks very peaceful move. about it, doesn't he? Wait, hold on. I've just realised they took my see him my chase us car now. from me. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's do it. Duke I'm just gonna leave bodies uh, lying yeah. around in the road. Oh, Christ! And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, because Hey, whoa, they're whoa, prepared whoa, whoa, whoa. to gun down cops in broad daylight. McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Any in the vicinity see the man at 211 just occurred. Third and Hill Street. Stand by for further. Right, we need to some... Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey! We need some intuition. Might help us out with the case a little bit. Man, this, this case is just growing arms and legs, man. Right? Go! This is 11 K. Go ahead with the further. Uh, yeah, I guess we just go this way. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, all right, we're here. <laughs> what took hey. you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They, they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then. Did boom. they take your shoes? They that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. They stole your shoes. What the fuck? Right. I mean, we just came from up there. We should have saw them on the way down. Where? Oh. LAPD. Hey, you oh, your that. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, guy. Ah! <laughs> Alright, is that the way you're supposed to do that? Man's about to run away, shoot him through the back of the head. I don't know what he did or what's going on. He stole out my shoes Shots and fired. I shot him through the head. Suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. I tried to give the second guy, you know, the chance to surrender, but he decided to shoot at me, which was a bad choice. But we got an intuition point, so... Yay. Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. And yeah, you guys have all played the whole game with us. <laughs> but we're here now. This monstrosity of a set. Jungle drum set. 5.30 p.m. There's the slippery bastard now. Oh, there no. we go. God damn it! Oh, fuck. Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Go. Get oh, again, I'm the I'll one the doing all the run. Oh, he's actually gonna try and do something useful. Thanks, Carl. Oh, I can't aim my gun at him. God damn it, everyone's been telling me that that's what I need to do. And now when I finally think to do it, I don't have a gun for some reason. Aim up! Oh. Alright, well, I guess we just roll an arse up some stairs. Come on, gay. Just stop! Mate. I, I will not be at fault for you falling to your death. Oh, it will happen man. if you continue to resist. The same way all we asses try to resist you, you dick. Oh shit. Oh, some uncharted shit now. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Alright. Guess this is the jungle run. We're, we're doing it. No, don't! No! Ah, shit. Listen, you, you ass white. Stop running, you dick. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, no, we're good, we're good. Let's just turn the next one around. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, we're good. That's fine. Oh, I can aim. Yeah, we go. Buck Bishop, you're under arrest. When did I get my gun? Murder of June Ballard and the and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. We actually captured one, everybody. Right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me! 
I know another way out of this place. I swear to God, mate, if you try and run, I will blast you. It's going to turn out that Carl was a villain all along. Christ, detectives are trying to kill me. in the bad guys. It's fine. Last chance to back the hell down. You got Cole Phelps, mate. I am a silver star winner or something. I can't remember. Yeah. It's this way. Hey, right, mate, why are you running up ahead? I'm the guy with the gun. Oh, shit. Kill him. For God's sake, I don't want to die. Kill a cop. That is the electric chair. Oh, well, it's <laughs> I don't think he kills about that. Oh, wait, there's actually... Oh, they were explosives. Do I need to do that? There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Eh? Have you done this before? Oh, whoa! This guy's like a 50-year-old child molester and he's doing fucking acrobatics, man. Oh, shit. How am I dead? What? I, I swear to God, I shot that guy in the chest about five times. Oh, all right, just because it says I can't hit him. Oh! All right! No, I am armed, bitch. You're gonna be very sorry. Oh, yeah, there he goes. And him. What's that? What's that? Oh, all right, all right, mate. <laughs> oh, is he going off? He's not going off. Is this really the best the cap has got? God, they're everywhere. It's gonna pop up right here, isn't it? Oh. Wait, this There's is a, a semi auto I thought this was a bolt action rifle I had here. Reload that sucker cold. You have to get me out of here. Well, where are we going? The guy's just fucked off. Where did he go? How did he get down? Guy, where the fuck did you go? He's like on the map, but oh, there's ladders right here. Oh, whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, we're on one of those snake eater ladders, and somehow I managed to keep a hold of this rifle as we go down. Cole Phelps has a very strong grip. Get him over here, I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Go, go, go. Okay, don't run out there, are you stupid? Well, the barrel's at the base of the elephant column. They're pulling gasoline. Shoot them, oh. quickly! Oh, wait, okay. Oh, oh, oh wow, good spot, guys. Good spot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good thing it was made of wood. Did I just... We need to get him to the car. Oh, there he is. I thought I crushed him there with that for <laughs> the way that it held on it. Okay, there's a guy. Somehow got him there. And again, guy, come on. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that, that gun's mine, Carl. Yeah, go, go, go. Get into the car, I can cover you from here. You're almost there. All right, fine. Oh, you picked a fight with the wrong cops. Ah. Is the guy at the front of the car? Is that not one of ours? No? Okay, it's not else. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer of an all around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue. An attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Mm. Felt such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, uh -huh. get your new assignment. Finally! I'm, working with you, son. I'm going to be your boss one day, pal. I'll see you later, Carl. Carl's all chuffed. I've just like completely went right past him. <laughs> One minute he's got to show me the ropes, the next minute I'm his boss.
Ah, oh, fuck, here's this prick again. All right, Dickhead. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, Detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here Forget to buy a fuck. drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. But we have a car here. Who's going to drive that back? I need to come back down here later. Is that what you're telling me? You like this place? A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Oh, it's a load of shit. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Leroy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. That's just a mess. Pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. Yeah, you leave the guy alone, right? I'll slap the fucking shit out of you, detective. Don't door. you fucking, don't you be acting up like a fucking dickhead. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa! Are you going on? Louis, for God's oh. sake, he was my <laughs> best throw. friend. <laughs> the only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. That's me! Why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Hey. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a puts his hands on me and then this. Who do you think you're Whoa. talking to, you German Whoa. junkie whore? What? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Okay, this guy doesn't take Even any dog. shit from How's anyone. Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Can you just walk in a place and slap something like that? Types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. Wait, we saw a newspaper with you earlier, didn't we? I was in so one of the that first drink, episodes, boys. we saw that guy. He is a dodgy bastard. Maybe I should be r reading these newspapers so we know who these people are before we, we encounter them. Hmm. Okay, I found 17 out of 18 clues, but the music kept playing in two different locations. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? Everybody was telling me if the music keeps playing, you haven't found everything. But the music kept playing in two different places and I missed one clue. I just walked around in circles for ages for no reason. And apparently I caused over a thousand dollars of damage to our own vehicle, but only ten dollars of damage to the city. I don't know how that makes sense. Did we crash our car into thin air? I don't know. But no one was injured, so it's fine. Bishop takes the fall, but Hopgood could have told you what tipped him over the edge. Yes, but we apparently didn't have the one piece of information that would have got us there. But we got four stars, so that's fine. With a very dirty bastard off the streets, and Cole Phelps climbing the ladder of the LAPD, and how will Carl cope with losing Cole Phelps? Where will our adventures take us next time on L.A. Noir?
What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. Coming up next, an all-new game show hosted by Chubbles the Monkey. He's been to space, you know.